Today, I'm going to be editing my reel inside of After Effects. And not going to lie, this is my first ever time attempting to edit a short form piece of content inside of After Effects. But with the help of my takeover presets, I honestly think this is going to be a breeze. But before we go ahead and get started, my name is Chris Wiestead and I run the takeover shop for so editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started in today's tutorial. All right, guys. So first things first, when you go ahead and open up After Effects, I have all of my um, footage like imported. So you want to get your footage imported. So I have my audio file and I also have like my video file. So I'm going to go ahead and get these synced up real quick. I'm going to do new composition and then we're going to create our new comp. So we're going to do 1080 by 1920 because that is the aspect ratio for short form content. I'm going to do 29.97 frames for social media. We're going to do it just like that and then maybe bring this down like so. I'm going to drag both of these down. So select these both, drag and drop. Um, let's see if they have a synchronized feature in here. Oh, there has to be. There's no way. Wait, you're telling me they don't got a synchronized feature? All right, well, there is no sync feature, so it's going to be fun. We're going to have to look at the waveforms. So I think it's J. No, it's LL, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and match up the waveforms, which honestly, I think is actually going to be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, just like that. Fire. Okay, so that's synced up. And the top one is my actual video file, and the bottom one's my audio. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this. Command, Shift, and D. Just like so, then I'll like kind of cut it just like so. And then I'm also gonna just hide the actual video behind. And then is there any way that we can link these guys together or maybe pre-comp? That actually be good. Yeah, we'll pre-comp these guys together. Pre-comp and name this A-roll just like so. And then I forgot to actually um, rotate the base footage. So we're gonna go over here, double click it. And then we're gonna go type in R for rotation. We're gonna go 90 degrees. And then we're gonna also hit scale. So S and S is just 50. So that way it fits the uh, comp properly. And there we go. We're chilling. So now first things first, I'm going to go ahead and color grade the footage and then we're going to go ahead and do some basic cuts. So for me, I actually have my takeover presets. You can go ahead and color grade your footage any way that you like to using the Lumetri color. But for me, I'm just going to drag and drop my LUT. And then um, honestly, that's actually pretty far. Not going to lie. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect right there. So now we're just going to go ahead and do basic cuts. And the way we're going to be doing basic cuts is using command shift and D. That's going to make a cut, command shift D, cut, and then just delete, and then just drag it back like so. I'm not too sure if there's like a ripple delete feature inside of After Effects. So we're kind of just learning as we go. But regardless, let's go ahead and get through these basic cuts. Now, if you double click L, you can see the waveforms and that helps a lot. All right, guys. So the next step is actually adding our scales slash scale ins. So I'm going to go ahead and go and add these scales. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it manually. But for the rest of the, uh, the video, I'm just going to go ahead and do it with my preset pack which by the way link down below go ahead cop it it is fire so you just hit s and then let's say you just want to like keep like a static just like scale like this so like zoom in and we'll play it through fire so we can do that and then we can go ahead and just continue through actually real quick before i go ahead and start using the presets because i want to teach you guys something give you guys some sauce is you go to scale you hit this the clock right here and you get a creep a keyframe and then if you want to zoom in you just go ahead change this value up like the second one and you just like drag this over and then you can see that it zooms in for you so that's a pretty clean way to do it So that's sick, um, but for me, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply my preset to a couple of these clips. So I go ahead, type in takeover, and I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna select my preset. I'm gonna do 100 to 110 scale in for this clip right here. And I'm also gonna do the same thing right here. And then for this one, we'll actually do a scale out. And I'm gonna scale this clip right here. It's like 110, just like so. And then our scales are actually all done for us. Go ahead, just add another scale, just like so. Let's see, that's maybe a little bit too aggressive. We'll do something like this. Fire. Okay, cool. So now is the fun part where we actually get to add our graphics and text. And we're only going to do the text for special words or phrases. We are not going to do text for the captions. We're actually going to be using Premiere Pro for the captions. Okay, so I'm going to say unique editing style. Okay, so I'm going to add text. And the way you add text is hit T. 
no you don't so the way add text is you go over here to the type tool and you just go ahead and write down what you want to say so i'm going to say unique just like so i'm actually going to bring this layer down as well so let's drag this down fire and then the way you move it is you just go over here select this tool and then um, using command home or command alt home you could center the anchor point so that way the anchor points anchor point is in the center just like so go ahead and duplicate this by holding alt or command d it'll duplicate for you i'm just going to double click it and then style and i'm also just going to move this down just like so fire you want to create your own unique unique style create your own unique editing style button. do it this way there we go then create your own unique editing style button. fire and then i'm also going to import a icon and the way you do that is just hit Control i same thing as premiere pro you go over here to downloads and then i'm going to go ahead and just type in icon because that's where the uh, actual icon is for instagram in my computer there we go just open that up it's imported drag and drop it above sort of the text and then let's just place it sort of loosely where we want it i actually want this behind the text just like so and i'm going to position it over here as well because i kind of want it to be behind me for the effect so let's kind of do something like something like this off centered a bit trust me this will look good eventually uh, we just got to go ahead and just lay the edits down and let's go ahead and just cut everything about right here so come in just like so delete that and you're good to go fire so this looks horrible right now right so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and create smooth animations and i'm not actually gonna cover how to do the animations in this tutorial a tutorial is coming out sauce is dropping on like smooth animations and how to create them but i'm just gonna use my takeover preset pack again sorry if you guys don't have this or don't want to buy it this tutorial is probably annoying for you but trust me tutorial is coming out on how to make all of these animations so that way you can go ahead and do them yourself so i'm gonna go ahead and just do a slide in up for both of these i'm just gonna drag and drop it just like that that, and i'm going to drag and drop over here and i'm going to hit u to go to the keyframes and i'm just going to move these over and same thing over here it's like this at the beginning of the clip just like so and then we'll go ahead and watch it go in we have to actually enable motion blur as well let's actually just do that for the entire project just like so and then we'll see how it looks unique editing style let me actually just move this back just like so and same thing for Instagram. I'm just going to have it slide in up. Um, you, I'm just going to drag this over like so. And we'll see how this looks. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the position for this. I actually don't know why this is bugged out. Actually, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pre-compose the Instagram icon with where we want it. And I'm going to go ahead, add the slide in up preset. Okay, why is that still like not proper? Pre-compose. Oh, the bottom one. That's why. Okay. Now it should be good. All right, so you gotta pre-compose it and use like the second option for pre-composing and it'll work. So just like so, press U, you're gonna drag this over like so, so that way. And then also, if we have to adjust the keyframe, just go ahead and adjust it like so. Fire. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and use Keeper. Keeper is a paid plugin, by the way. So if you don't have it, don't get upset with me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on my Keeper preset and that's gonna go ahead and key out my A-roll, just like so. I gotta duplicate it and then bring this back down, delete the keeper plugin. So that way the background comes back and then the Instagram icon is gonna be behind it just like so. Now let's actually add a blur effect. So we go over here to blurry text effect, just like so onto the Instagram icon. So that way it's kind of in the background. It's got a little bit of noise, which I'm actually gonna remove the noise because I feel like there's really no reason for the noise in this situation. That looks good to me. You wanna create your own unique editing style on, on Instagram. Editing style on Instagram. Fire, that looks really good. sick okay now let's go ahead and where does it cut it cuts right here i'm going to cut everything at this sort of mark Control shift d i'm going to delete that so that way it doesn't spill over now i'm also going to go ahead and just duplicate this uh, transition overlay we're going to add the overlay right here and maybe delete it right there 
Cool. Now I'm going to actually add an adjustment layer. And the way you add the adjustment layer is you kind of just go over here into this little space, new adjustment layer. I'm just going to go to the top, just drag it all the way to the bottom, just like so. I'm going to do it above everything in this clip. And then we are going to add a scale in again for the intro. Actually, let's do the zoom in or let's do the punch out effect because I really like to do that for my hooks. So let's do a punch out, um, change the keyframes, bring these to this beginning. Just like so, make sure that it's lined up and we'll have like a little dope little animation. So it'll be zoomed in, we'll zoom out like so. Let's also do a zoom in and out. Let's see how that looks. You want to create your own YouTube. Let's move the keyframes. Again, hit U, pull up the keyframes. Let's see how it looks. You want to create your own YouTube. Let's also get rid of this, actually. Let's do something like that. You want to create your own YouTube editing style up. Let's do a zoom in at the end. There we go. You want to create your own YouTube editing style on Instagram. Let me help. Fire. Maybe extend these out a little bit. You want to create your own YouTube a little bit too long. Maybe you can make this a little bit snappier. You want to create your own unique editing style on Instagram. Editing style on Instagram. Let me help you with that. Maybe get rid of the punching. You want to create your own unique editing style on Instagram. I actually like that. Okay. Yeah. You want to create your own unique editing style on Instagram. Let me help you with that. Fire. Cool. So that's clean. I like that. That's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and fix the text real quick. Let's add like a, a quick drop shadow. So just drag and drop that on there. Drag and drop that on there as well. I'm actually going to do it twice. Just like darken the drop shadow. I think it looks better like that. You want to create your own unique editing style on Instagram. Sick. Now I'm going to go ahead and add shake to the text. And this is actually like the sauce. Um, it's pretty freaking fire. Like I do shakes to literally all my icons, all of my like key text, because it just adds a little bit more energy to the edit and makes it seem like a lot more like flowy and that like it actually like belongs together, if that makes sense. So the way we do that is we select both the uh, text layers. I'm going to go ahead and pre comp them together using this option right here. Click it. It's going to turn like this little pale color, double click it. And then we're going to go ahead and just we're going to add a handheld shake effect. Let's see if, yeah, let's just do, let's actually do smooth hands. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit check. And then this is going to go ahead and apply our shake sauce sort of shake to the text. So just make it look like it's like floating around looking pretty dope. And as you can see, it already adds like a little bit of like extra sauce to it. Like it just makes it look like a lot cleaner. Like it has energy. You know what I mean? Like it's actually like a living element on the screen. Same exact thing for the Instagram icon as well. It's already pre-composed. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead. Same thing. Just hit check. And then it's going to apply the shake to the actual icon. And we're going to see the shake just like so. Super subtle. But but that's exactly what we're going for. So I'm going to go ahead and just go back to my comp one and we're going to watch the hook. So this video is honestly a throwaway video. I honestly don't like this script, but I just want to show you guys that you guys can edit short form content inside of After Effects. And then you pretty much just repeat the same exact process that you went ahead and did right here for the entire edit, right? So if I said mood board, let's actually go ahead and just show you what I mean. So I say mood board, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just type out mood board. So one, and then just mood board, just like so. I'm gonna move this text up over here, just like that. I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna cut it, let's make it fit. And let's go ahead, select it all, go to text down. Spelled mood board wrong, nice. <laughs> Sweet, so we'll go ahead and do something like that. We'll go ahead, center the text as well. So we'll move it, holding shift, kind of, Let's see, just like this. And let me go ahead, add the anchor point or edit the anchor point. So we'll do something like that. We're gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna add the one, just like so. Duplicate one. I'm gonna size this up, just like that. I'm gonna actually get rid of, there we go. One, move this down. We're actually gonna make this go behind it. Then we're gonna go ahead back to our effects, add a drop shadow to the text. Drag and drop, just like so. Drag and drop, just like so. So there we go, we got that. Then add our animations. I'm gonna go right here to the beginning. We're gonna just have it sliding up, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're gonna move these texts. Sweet, so here's what it looks like with the effects. So step number one is just creating a mood board text. Fire. Then I'm gonna do the same exact thing, pre-comp, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add our shake. Double click, smooth hands, hit enter literally done for you. Just go back to your comp and it's done. And then I'm going to actually just add like a quick mood board photo. So mood board, um, let's just say, let's just copy this one. Why not? For tutorial's sake, this looks a little scuffed. 100% looks scuffed. But ideally, you're going to be sitting here spending the time making it look pretty. I'm just trying to show you how to go ahead and actually do it for yourself. So drag and drop this on. And then 
and say we also just want to add like the mood board in the background so let's go ahead and do something like that um, let's duplicate the actual a roll video so let's duplicate it and like do the keeper thing again fire and then i'm also going to move the text above the um the, the mood board if that makes sense or the a roll as well so just like so and then we can mess around add our saucy little presets dragging it in i'm going to go ahead and just pre-comp this before we go ahead and do that just like so and then we're just going to drag and drop the slide in up or let's just do slide uh in top so it comes down from the top so it'll come down just like so add our motion blur and let's play it through so here's what it looks like with the uh the preset applied just like that again I'm just gonna go in here, add our saucy little shake sauce too, which by the way, if you guys wanna go ahead and cop it down below, feel free to check it out. It is free for seven days. Your first seven days, you get to try it, you get to try it out, see if you like it. If you don't, then hey, no worries, just don't buy it. You know what I'm saying? Not that big of a deal. Mm, I love shake sauce, so good. It's got the mood board, it's got the little shaky shake, it's looking killer. And then legitimately, you just repeat this entire process um, for the entire edit, again, just making it look pretty slap on some uh, animations to it, which real quick actually, because I didn't even think about this. Let's go ahead and just add the rounded corners effect to our mood board. I have a thing that rounded that rounds the corners for you on the mood board, which you can see now the edges are rounded and it just makes it look so much more clean, a little bit more put together. Like you actually thought about what you were doing a little bit, like just those little details matter a lot. And then say, hey, screw it, bro. Let's go ahead and drop, throw on a drop shadow. Like that just makes it look so much better. You can duplicate the drop shadow too if you want like to make it look extra darker. Like, come on, bro. Tell me that ain't saucy dog, that's fire. And let's say, hey, maybe you wanna add some fake depth, throw on some uh, blur, you know what I'm saying? Like. That looks like it's actually there, you know? It's pretty sick. Looks like it's actually in the scene, you know? So anyways, guys, just get very creative with your reels on After Effects. Like you literally have the power of After Effects at your disposal when you edit reels like this. So you can actually make your scenes look absolutely nuts, absolutely crazy without having to go back and forth between Premiere Pro and whatnot. Now, one thing that is kind of annoying in After Effects is you don't have captions unless you go ahead and buy like a script, which I'm honestly planning on playing around with that because that would be very cool. But for all of you guys who love working inside of after effects i think this preset pack is like a must for you whether it's you create short from content or you're just creating other effects and like these movements are kind of something you use a lot like just check it out you know what i mean like why not to me i think it's a freaking dope pack it's a super simple like it gets your basics out of the way so you don't have to sit there and play around everything's really done for you but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video please leave a like comment subscribe down below i hope this video was helpful personally i really don't know if i'll be switching over full time to after effects for reels simply because they don't have captions but if they introduce captions into after effects that'd be a game changer but again like i said thank you for watching remember take action take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace